Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we got to hang out with a lot of people and it was a ton of fun. We got to hang out with Elizabeth for, for the first time, we hung out with Maiko and the old couple a bit more, and we met Bebe. In this episode, we're just gonna keep marching forward. Studying is actually all about stamina, you know? So I need to get fit and improve my stamina, which means working out and getting a good night's sleep. Huh, well, I guess I don't got time for studying. Uh, hmm, is something the matter? Just wanted to chat. Mm. It's good to be motivated when it comes to C's, but remember that we're students first. With that in mind, be sure to keep up with your studies. I'm pretty sure Yukari is out because she wants to study some more. So we're going back to have some burgers instead of studying. Don't worry though, I'm pretty confident that I'll get the answers correct. I'm confident because I pulled up a walkthrough. <laughs> Uh, turns out Wild Duck Burger is too crowded. Guess it's time for some more karaoke. Unless... Can we get courage from here at the moment? Nope, that's charm. I thought that they were making out for a second, but nope. I wonder if there are any other options there. I've only ever seen sing solo karaoke. We only get it up a little bit, but that's fine. Good morning. Exams begin next week. Are you prepared? You bet. Yes. Glad to hear that. I'll expect good results. If you get good exam scores, I'll give you a little something. Consider it a reward. To be honest, I'm not sure I'm not as well prepared as I should be. I'm still preoccupied with monitoring shadows. At any rate, the number of incidents has decreased since our last mission. If we can continue to defeat them, we may be able to rid the public of, public of their fear. But that large shadow we encountered recently was clearly much more powerful than the one in April. Even if we include Akihiko in our ranks after he fully recovers, we're still lacking manpower. Let's look at the paragraph on page 30, shall we? Kate was feeling a bit depressed today, but Jesse invited her to tea. Has everyone been feeling alright lately? Considering the season we're in now. Yes, May sickness is a real phenomenon, but we've made it through the brunt of it, but we, it may still be lingering. Now who's ready for a little question? Mr. Yuki, you're up. What's the other name for, for May Sickness, the more casual one? That's the May Blues. Fantastic. Excellent job! It's believed that the sudden change in schedule at one's new office or school brings stress and a depressive mood. Thus, we get the May Blues. That'll be on the exam, so make sure you write it down. We've still got a couple minutes left. Let's talk about my experience studying in India. I might start focusing on charm less and less because we already level it up pretty often. Uh, I might start like going for courage first, like I'll still try to level them up equally, but I'll like focus on courage first and then try to look at the other ones. Shit, I just had a dream about the monorail. My exams are posted all over the windows. My grades are like 30 or 40 percent. Actually that's pretty accurate. Man, I can't escape exams even in my dreams. If only there are some way to help you out with that. Chubby student or the old couple. Only social links we have open. I wish I could start up your social link. Not necessarily because it's good, but just because I want to do something new. Uh, not that I don't like hanging out with the old couple. Alright, more tragic backstory about their dead son. Oh, you have bad timing. My wife just headed out to GeckoCon. Best option to say here is, I'll wait here. Well, uh, she won't be gone long. In the meantime, uh, why don't you keep me company? Uh, are you thirsty? Here, I I've got something we could share. Uh, wait, where are the cops? Oh, I don't know how to find a thing around here without my wife. Oh dear, you got back just in... What happened? What's gotten into you, dear? Take a deep breath. You ought to know better than to walk so far at your age. Here, drink this. And here's some for you, too. Well, judging by her reaction, it 
Seems the rumors might be true. The persimmon tree we told you about. You know, the one by the walkway at your school. My wife heard a rumor that it was going to be cut down. She almost fainted. Do you know anything about this? The best option to say here is, I'm worried. You're so sweet. I'm worried too. I tried to look into these allegations, but I think I was barking up the wrong tree. If it's not too much trouble, could you tell us if you hear any more about it? Mitsuko-san seems to be counting on me. I feel like we're growing close. I know I made it sound like something very important, but only if it's convenient for you. Tell us if you hear anything about the persimmon tree, all right? I do this kind of weird thing where whenever I'm about to explain what a what the correct option, the dialogue, the correct dialogue choice is in a social link, I always for some reason start going into the Makoto Yuki voice before I even say his line. So I'll just be talking like what I'm normally saying, but I'll still be doing the depressed emo voice for some reason. My brain just has a bit of trouble switching between the two. Because the emo voice is just easier to do because it's just kind of a very soft sort of voice. I don't have to put too much effort into talking. Still remember the second year material well, so I can help you with anything you're unsure of. That'll help. Yes. I'm glad to hear it. We might all, we might as well take advantage of living in the same dorm after all. I know these will be your first exams here, but don't forget to help out the others where you can too. So yeah, we could actually study with our different teammates, and we get extra like events and stuff like that, as well as leveling up our academics. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? But first of all, how's the study go studying going? Smooth sailing? Yep. Man, you're one serious student, aren't you? Unlike me, I haven't even started. It's in like four days, dude. Yes. Oh, it's you. I'm helping Akihiko with his studies at the moment. Would you care to join us? I believe we can be of some help to you. Let's study together. <laughs> Very well then. Let's begin. Sorry, Mitsuru. I'm almost done. You're sweating a lot. Well, you know how it is. Akihiko, are you feeling unwell? You seem to be short of breath. I'll be fine. More importantly, why don't you help his studies? He ended up in the hospital right after transferring. Might need some help to make up for the class time he's missed. You do have a point. Here, these are my notes from last year. You can use them if you'd like. I don't think the content of the class has changed much since then. Your notes are as perfect as ever. They're easier to understand than the textbook itself. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. But I suppose I am rather particular about my note-taking. In class, I listen closely and write down bullet points. Then I organize them later into a more readable format. It's a bit time-consuming, but I find it's overall a more efficient way of reviewing the material. If you plan your day-to-day -day tasks effectively, test preparation is as good as done. Appreciate the tips. I mean, I'm getting sleepy seems more in character, but I want to be nice to Mitsuru. <laughs> you seem to have a knack for this. I'll teach you more of my study techniques next time. Mitsuru's right. Efficiency is key. We're all given the same amount of time. It's how well you manage it that can set you apart. Indeed. Not even a second of time should be wasted. On that note, shall we return to studying? Thanks to these two, I was able to focus on my studies more than usual. Whew. All right, done. Huh? Akihiko, you're drenched in sweat and that heavy breathing. Are you sure you're... <sighs> I'm fine. I've just been squatting over my chair this whole time. 
wanted to challenge myself to hold it until I was done with your notes. Breaking out while studying is quite an efficient use of my time, what do you say? Why are you like this? I thought I told you not to push yourself until you fully recovered. If you take efficiency too far, it'll backfire. Don't follow his example, okay? Well then, I think we've made a fair amount of progress. Let's call it a night. Uh, uh, hey, oh, are you squatting the whole time over your chair on the subway too? Running late? No. Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, I just ran all the way here. The doctor said I'm almost fully recovered, so I couldn't wait to get some exercise. It's about time for me to get back in the ring. After midterms next week, I'll be ready for club activities and fighting shadows. That's why I'm trying to make up for the last time. The last thing I want is to be a burden. That's strange. I wasn't expecting the answer to be such a large integer. 50 sextillion times 1200? 60 septillion? Multiplied by 18... 1820. 10 octillion? 920 septillion? And these numbers are too big to fit on the board. Uh, oh, uh, wrong equation. If we use our variables in the right one, the answer comes out to 3. <laughs> ah, I see. This is a very elegant equation, actually. Huh? What will the exam cover? Oh, right, exams start next Monday. It'll just cover up to page 34, so this formula won't be on it. Kind of a shame, though. It's a real beauty. Maybe I should just put it down on there anyway. Kidding, I'm kidding. Don't give me that look. I know we're not really focusing on academics necessarily, but... I always, like, don't like falling asleep because you miss out on extra dialogue. All right, we've got outside stuff only. So who do we want to level up? We've personas for both, right? Yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with Maiko. I'm here, let's play at the shrine. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. Burger, 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 burger. Oh, hi, do you want to hang out with us today? So she said us there. Yay, Yay okay, let's all play together. you seen Stripey? You were playing tag, but I don't know where you went. <gasps> oh, Stripey! There you are! <sighs> you don't look so good. Are you sick? Yes. I'm surprised you could tell. Huh? You really are sick? <laughs> No, I was kidding. You're so easy, Maiko. No fair, I trusted you! Don't tease me just because I'm a kid! And who are you? I'm Maiko's friend. Ah, so you're the one she was talking about. I was wondering what you were like. Do you see yourself as her guardian? Or are you simply two children playing together? Hey! I'm hungry now! I want takoyaki! Takoyaki! You can eat with us too, Stripey! No, I'll pass, thanks. See you later. Shrine on Sundays. I pass by on the way to cram school. Okay, it's takoyaki time! Oh, it's so hot I almost burned myself! I remember one time my dad burned his mouth on this stuff because I put too many in his mouth at once. He was like, oh. Dad hasn't been coming home much these days. It's my birthday soon. Do you think you'll come home and see me? The best option here is to say, don't worry, he'll be there. <gasps> you really think so? My mom always gives me presents on my birthday. But she hasn't asked me what I want this year yet. Mm. If they really loved me, they wouldn't get a divorce. You're the only one who spends time with me. 
Maiko seems to have taken a liking to me. I feel like we're growing closer. Maiko headed off, and I returned to the dorm. Oh hey, welcome back! Please, Yukatan, you're the only one who could save me! This is the last time, I swear! What? Why am I the only one? <sighs> Fine, just stop whining. So where did you stop taking notes? Oh, uh, probably like... the beginning? <laughs> so yeah, we get some more study time with Junpei and Takeba this time. I'd like to hold off on going to Tartars today, today and tomorrow. Would that be alright with you? Yeah, alright. I'm glad we're on the same page. Please use the time to use please use this time to study for the exams. And I don't think Sonata is anywhere. Oh, these actually appear, never mind. But he doesn't have any new dialogue, so we're heading back to the lounge to study. Oh. Came crying to me to help study for the exams. Come on, you gotta help me out here, Yukatan. Makoto, you'll help too, right? Right? Let's study together. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. So you'll help too, Yukatan? Jeez. Gee, he's fine. Man, this sucks. Guess I don't have much choice with Kuriyo Senpai getting on my case. She was like, "If you fail your midterm, there will be consequences." I fear for my life for a second. You guys are my only hope. Give me a hand here, please. You can start by taking this seriously. You've been distracted this whole time. As they say, it pays to be prepared. Gotta get myself in the right mindset first, right? A good study session needs a clean and organized workspace and the perfect mood for learning. And so, to set that mood, I, Junpei Iori, volunteer. What? Where is this coming from? You there, young man. What lecture would you like to hear from the great Junpei? History? Arithmetic? Literature? Alright, so... I've seen people talk about history and literature online a lot. If you go for history, Junpei makes a pun about archaeologists finding, like, a deserted temple or something, and Yukari's like, if you say their career was in ruins, I'm going to hit you. And he's like, hey, don't steal my joke. Please don't hit me, or something along those lines. In literature, funny thing is, is if you uh, ask him about literature, he'll be like, hey, have you ever heard of the novel 1984 by George Orwell? And that's funny because th mentioning that book has sort of become a meme on the internet. Um, just for whenever something like bad happens that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, 1984 is mentioned, because that's like a book about oppression and stuff like that. What happens when you choose arithmetic? Because I've never seen anyone actually choose this option. Something on arithmetic, hmm? Understood. Long ago, they tried to teach math to a sheepdog. The farmer asked, what's five plus four? But then it barked ten times. He asked for nine times two. And it barked 20 times. Guess old habits die hard for the sheepdog. It couldn't stop rounding them up. Nice. Ugh, I wish I could cut you out of the equation. Look, <laughs> <laughs> we all need a breather sometimes. What'd you think about the great Junpei's lecture, dude? Uh, I'd like to hear another. Ah, quite the studious young man, aren't you? Then allow me to give you my best lecture yet! Ugh, Stupe, you're starting to infect his mind too! If we keep humoring you, it's going to impact our studies too. Or maybe we should just let you fail. Find out what Kirijo Senpai's consequences are like firsthand. Whoa, let's not get hasty here. I was just joking around. I'll get serious, I swear. Don't abandon me! We all got down to business and continued studying for the test. So, this goes like that. And then you take that and carry it over to here. And then, uh... 
Hey, man. You mind giving me a little help with this one? Oh, look who's actually putting the effort in. That wasn't so bad, was it? About that joke I was telling earlier. Should I pause before the punchline or go with the flow? Why don't we just pretend this guy doesn't exist and study on our own? <laughs> Their dynamic is really great. <sighs> I guess that's enough studying for today. Thanks to you, I got a lot more done. Yukari got mad at Junpei's pun, but she also technically made a pun too, so... I just like to think that she secretly likes puns, but pretends that she doesn't. Oh, home shopping show. So yeah, we've got that, and then some more stuff with Maya. Because other than that, the only other thing we have is the old couple. And I really want to save some stuff for, you know, summer vacation. Old couples for online games is five. So yeah, we'll still maybe hang out with her, because it's Sunday, which is the only time of the week that we get to hang out with Maya. Unless there's like a holiday coming up, but I don't think there is one. Anyways, Tanaka, what's going on? Blinding flashlight and the freeze spray. I have no idea what that is, which makes me curious, so I'll go ahead and show it off, I guess. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't have a hermit persona on me. So I'll be back. I am Naga. I wanted to spend the rest of my life singing and dancing, but I guess that's not gonna work out. I'm gonna log on now. Short and sweet. Let's get to the point. Uh-oh. Looks like we won't be leveling up with Maya today. Because if you saw right there, I don't think our bond will grow any stronger even if I spend more time with Maya. That's the thing about social links is that even if you have a persona, and even if you choose all of the options perfectly, there still is a chance that you won't be able to level up. So, maybe I'll hang out with the old couple. This is kind of an old couple oriented episode. Oh, we were just talking about you. We've been feeling a bit guilty for troubling you about the persimmon tree. Uh, the best option here to say is, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, good one! I wouldn't uh, worry about nice. it. Nice. <laughs> Glad you can joke around even at a time like this. Makes me feel like we're not so different, you and I. Lord knows I can't pass up a good pun. That persimmon tree is... is a reminder of our son. Actually, before his death, he was a teacher at GeckoCon. He planted that tree on graduation day with the students of his very first class. Just when we thought that tree was about to bear fruit. Why now? Why do they want to cut it down now? Best option is to say, cheer up. Thank you. I'm all right now. That made me feel a lot better. It's very comforting talking to you. Oh, wow! You've really gone and captured my wife's heart. You must be popular with the ladies. My wife's no sucker after all. I feel I'm looking at myself when I was in my prime. The elderly couple seems to have grown fond of me. I feel like we're growing closer. Too much about the tree. Just stop by when you have the chance. Oh, and take this. It's left over from earlier, but it's still good. Well then, you take care of yourself. I'm sure you're aware, but midterms start tomorrow. Since you've given so much time to exploring Tartarus, the least I can do is assist you with your studies. On that note, I've arranged a study group for today. I've already invited the others in the dorm, so you can spare the time. So if you can spare the time, I'd like you to attend. So yeah, uh, oh, Akutsuki's here. Oh, that's right. Midterms begin tomorrow. Uh, those were the days. Back when I used to pull an all-nighter all, all cram sessions. 
After all, you've got to study night to five, get it? <laughs> Alrighty, so... Since everyone's studying over here, I think it would be a good idea if in the next episode we went ahead and studied. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode we'll do just that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!